welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here today. While I have your attention, just a quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe. I'm bringing you this wig review today for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you can get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today we're gonna take a look at a new style by Ellen Villa. This is Onda and the color on this one is Toffee Brown Shaded, which is a gorgeous brunette. I have been anxious to try this one. So more about her in just a minute. Okay, so let's start talking about Onda. So uh, Onda is a very, very cute, as you can see, curly, wavy style, not tight curls, but definitely curl all over the wig. This is regular synthetic, so this is not heat friendly. So you won't be using heat, you know, to change the style. So the style is, is what it is. So uh, she definitely has some volume, although I'm not really feeling, there's just maybe very minimal amounts of tees. Uh, she still feels low density. She just has a lot of wave. And she has shorter layers that start up here from the crown. So having those shorter wavy layers is, you know, what is going to give you some volume on the top. And I think she's really cute for those of you who like the volume on the top, um, but you still want a petite average, you know, lower density, nice lightweight wig. You know, she's not, like I said, she's not full of permatease, so she's not going to be real big and poofy. She just has a natural wave to her. Um, you know, I really do think she looks like, curly wavy hair, you know, so very, very pretty. So this color also is just gorgeous. I was excited to try this new brunette so I could show it to y'all. This is the Toffee Brown Shaded. Very, very pretty. I feel like it's close to the um, chocolate shades that they have, not the dark chocolate, but the chocolate, like chocolate mix, chocolate rooted, um, but just uh, with a hint more maybe of the auburn or a blonde in there or something. So we'll go over all of the aspects of the color in just a moment. So I will do a turn so you can see her all the way around and then we can get into all of her specs. So here we are from the front. She does have a bit of a bang. So you do get some forehead coverage. I think it's pretty the way it swoops over. What is that bang measurement? Six and a half inches here in the front. There's just a slightly, it's the, the layers are all sort of going together, but um, you know, you do get pretty good forehead coverage. You could definitely shorten that if you wanted to have full forehead coverage, I think so. But just know that the layers are wavy. So I'm not sure how those bangs would react if you did shorten them, but if you know what you're doing or if you want to go to a stylist who knows what they're doing, but not heat friendly, remember, so you, you know, you're not going to be straightening them out with heat. You could use steam. Okay, so here we are from the left, the back, my right, and back to the front. Okay, so interesting thing about the lace front on Onda. So I took her out of the box and I was like, this doesn't feel like normal Ellen Villa synthetic hair lace. And this is, she is part of the Modix collection. So I have also today, I've been filming reviews. I had earlier reviewed Leah 2, which is the new version of Leah. And her, va her lace is definitely stiffer. So when I take it off of my head, I'll show it to you. But one problem I'm having with this softer lace, they do say in their description for Onda that she has a soft lace front. So I think they have specifically used a different type of lace but I'm getting a little bit of buckling in the lace going across my forehead. So it would definitely, you know, it doesn't really show because the bang goes over it. But when I pull it up, you're going to see that little, that loose, you know, area and that sort of wrinkling that's in that lace. So just something to note, don't be alarmed about this. This really feels more like um, French lace or something that is a lighter, but not as, you know, not as stiff of a lace. So Let's just go right to the lace front then. So you can see it's kind of lifting really easily. Now you could put adhesive there and you could get that to lay down and I don't think it would be a problem. But like I said, the style flops down over that. So I don't really think it's even going to show anyway. But when I go to show it to you, I know you can see that there's kind of a wrinkling in that lace. The lace is just super, super soft. So I'll show you that more when I take it off. So... She does have a left mono part, but these, <laughs> she almost doesn't need one. 
but she does have a part to get, you know, scalp appearance up there on the top, which is nice. I mean, with these layers and everything, she just, it doesn't really show that much. So, okay, and I've got good coverage around the face. Like I said, this is a petite average wig. So I am 21 inches around. I am 11 ear to ear. I am 13 forehead to nape. There does not, you know, there's just a slight amount of extra cap from forehead to nape. So this would definitely accommodate average and just above average, but these are meant to be smaller fitting wigs. So for those of you that have large circumferences, I don't know for sure that this brand will work for you. There are a few of their wigs here and there that run a little bigger, but, um, and this one has the soft, the soft cap is really, really stretchy. So I could be wrong, it might work, but you know, you might have more hair showing at the ear tabs and things like that, you know, if you have bio hair under there. So, but uh, the cap is very, very comfortable, very, very soft, like I said. So, okay, so measurements for Onda. We have six and a half inches here in the front. She's got layers all over. So we have a nine inch layer from the crown. We have 8.75 inches here on the sides, and we have a five and a half inch nape. Weight-wise, she is 2.9 ounces. So like I said, the cap on this one is super soft. It's super light. Feels like nothing on my head. So very, very comfortable. I think it would also be very cool and comfortable, you know, in the warmer months as well. Okay, I will pop her off and we can take a closer look at this lace. So starting off, we're just going to look at this lace. So I don't know if you can see. I really don't know how much it's going to show on the camera. It's more of a feel thing. <laughs> I don't have feel-a-vision. But you see that shininess to this lace on Leah? And you can see it's a stiffer, heavier lace, you know? It just is a firmer, more welded lace. Whereas this lace on Onda, you can see it's a looser netting on it. It's just, it's softer, it's more pliable. It's not as shiny. So that's what I'm saying. They used a different lace on this wig for some reason, just to make it a soft cap, I guess. So, so you have um, open wefting up here on the top. That's going to give you lots of ventilation for the top of your head, which is really nice. We have soft felt ear tabs with metal to keep that flush against your face. Open wefted all through the cap. Velcro adjusters. This is a lot tag. I always recommend that you cut the lot tag off and just put it in your box because they tend to want to flop down like that. And sometimes they'll show when you have the wig on. Um, and then she has a soft extended nape. So this, this is what I'm talking about. This cap, like compared to Leah's cap, you know, there's just differences in the cap and they're in the same collection. So this is definitely meant to be a soft cap. See, this one is even constructed differently. But this cap is just, it's squishy and soft and... <laughs> I don't know. This would be really nice. I think if you had no hair, it would be very, very soft against your skin, but it does have stretch. It feels stretchier to me um, in the cap part than the cap for Leah does, but the circumference wise, there's still not a ton of stretch. That's why I'm saying I'm not so sure how well it would accommodate larger head sizes. Okay, so I really just kind of threw her on and I wanted to show you, when she comes out of the box, you're, you might think, oh my goodness, she's a little crazy. But she really is pretty easy to just finger comb through and uh, get her to calm down, open up your part maybe with you know a rat tail comb, that's what I use. And then just uh, sort of finger comb her and then she calms right down and she's really, really cute. I think she would also be really cute if you used some, you know, texturizing paste or something like that to, uh, or you could just spray her with some water and crunch these curls up and get more of a curl appearance versus, you know, the wave that's in here. So um, really, really cute. And gosh, this cap is just so light and airy and comfortable. It's, it's, it's interesting. I haven't seen this cap before with Ellen Villa, so maybe they do have it on other wigs, but I don't recall it. So, okay, so let's talk about this pretty brunette. So this is Toffee Brown Shaded. I'm always excited when I see a new brunette come out. It seems like they're constantly, these wig companies are constantly coming out with blondes and this and that and the other, but the brunettes, they don't really go in and give them as much attention. So uh, this is a really, really pretty color. I like that, you know, the colors that are reflected, these highlights and blends that are going through here. I just think it's a really, really pretty brunette. So color code wise, it's an eight, a 30, a 27, and a 33. So uh, it's a warm color, just really, really pretty. 
probably just maybe slightly lighter than the chocolate colors, the chocolate, um, not the dark chocolate, but the chocolate rooted chocolate mix. I don't, I do not have one of those to put next to it, but, um, and a little more golden looking, so, but really, really pretty. Okay, so description wise, we have a blend of medium brown, reddish brown, and medium auburn with light auburn highlights and a medium brown root. So it does have a root, but they do a very subtle root on their uh, rooted colors, which I really like. You're gonna see that rooting, you know, around the face. You're gonna see it when you separate the hair, but you're not gonna separate these curls too much, I don't think. <laughs> so, but, uh, but you do have that rooting on your part. So it just looks like you've got, you know, a root and then it just comes uh, melts out to these lighter colors, which is really pretty. I just think it's a really pretty brunette. I'm very happy with this. Definitely a new favorite for me for their brunettes. So, so let's look at it in some different lighting. Here we are with just the overhead room lighting, still artificial light, but you can still see those highlights. It's pretty. Reading. Okay, so here we are under the patio cover. Show you that lace front. The knotting's done really nicely on this uh, soft lace front too. The knots are really tiny. natural light it's overcast today so perfect lighting to see this color you can definitely see the lighter brown the auburns you can see the contrast with your rooting glasses and styling and all that. So even with this curl, um, she's not a bulky wig. Like I said, she's not poofy. So she's still really easy to put behind the ears. So glasses are going to be really easy with this soft cap. And you can put the glasses up on your head, no problem. You could also just, I would probably just go for just sticking the glasses in the curl, you know, curls really hold your glasses nicely. So <laughs> Okay, so we can look at a headband here. So you're gonna have these front layers, you know, that are gonna be out. I guess you could push them back under that headband, but I think it would probably wear better. And especially with this lace being so soft to just let them be, you know, on your forehead. You can pull out a little curl by the face. That looks cute. Okay, so let's see if we can get her in half up, half down. Yeah, I do think she would hold. I wasn't sure with these sides, you know, and again, those bang and those shorter layers are gonna wanna be out. You might have to go through and really do some smoothing up here, but she does have the link, you know, to put a little claw clip or barrette back there to pull her back. I don't think she's gonna be an updo. No, I can already tell. It's not gonna stay. You'd have to have, if you wanted to put her up, you would be doing a lot of bobby pins. I think, I guess it could be done. Technically I can get her to twist back there, but I don't, uh, well, it's not bad, it's kind of cute actually. So, you know, if you just wanted to get her up off your neck and that kind of thing, I think you could probably clip her up like that. So, um, and then of course with this lace front, you can also clip her, you know, off to the side, but just being mindful of that lace because, you know, I like I said, that lace is so soft that it is rippling on my forehead a little bit. So I would pull it back very, very gently and I would probably use some adhesive there just to stick that down. You know, you could use that got to be glued hairspray or gel, or you could use a piece of tape across there just to get that lace to uh, lay down. So, but all in all, I think she's a really cute little fun style, you know, just a 
short little wavy bob. So really, really cute. So thank you to Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information down below in the drop box below the video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye. <laughs>